Citizen Television. Greetings and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I'm Todd McKev, your host, and this is for November 21st through the 28th, 2014. So what do we got going? Well, this, if you're watching Friday, this is the last day of Scorpio, folks, and the sun is moving into Sagittarius early tomorrow morning at 1.38 a.m. So, in Scorpio, we experience the mysteries of life, the uncertainties, and we grapple with them, and we try to do it in creative ways. And because there's a crisis, we might as well procreate, because, you know, might as well go down loving somebody. And suddenly, in Sagittarius, we're not as concerned about crisis anymore. We're concerned about expanding our vision, having a quest that is somewhat sacred or meaningful to us. So we're, we're searching for somehow deeper meaning on our quest. And we realize that we're not only human-like, that we're also part animal. And that our connections with nature help us to deepen our experience here in life. So we have a new moon Saturday. So tomorrow there's a new moon in Sagittarius at 4.32 a.m. So very early Pacific Standard Time. The darkness of the night. If it's clear out, it'll be a great night for watching stars. Um, But if it is not... You know, that you can still rest assured that this is a new time. And so wherever Sagittarius falls in your chart, this is a place where there's going to be a new beginning. And you're going to take a a stand to make things better. So it's important, you know. And um, so without too much further ado, other things happening is Mercury is going into Sagittarius on Thursday the 27th at 6.26 p.m. So, Mercury, <clears throat> finally, out of Scorpio, will go into Sagittarius this week. And Mercury and Sagittarius, Mercury and Scorpio is kind of like you're holding your cards. But Mercury and Sagittarius, that it's got a face. Any Mercury that's got a human face on it is able to communicate more effectively. So our communication is going to be more effective in general. And, you know, we're more concerned with sports, football, the game. Thanksgiving's this week. Thanksgiving falls on an Aquarius moon. So just the weirdest independent quirks that your family members have, they will come out this Thanksgiving day. Rest assured. Be prepared and join me as we go sign by sign into your sign on this week's episode of The Planetary Persuader. <clears throat> so, greetings Aries, welcome to your horoscope. Uranus is still in your first house. Life is unpredictable. What happens to get things better this week? Well, we have a new moon in Sagittarius. So, this new moon is in your ninth house. Ninth house is a house of philosophy, exotic experiences, foreign travel. Sometimes people have, you know, love affairs with people from another country or another city. When they're going through a ninth house transit, I mean, you got Venus there. This could happen, okay? This could happen. Um, But you want to leave something special. You want to give a gift. You want to take your good fortune that you have because you're going to be luckier this week than you've been in a while. And you want to give it to someone who's less fortunate. That way you create a karmic hole or debt in your life for more good things to happen (laughs) because you've shown the universe that you've done the right thing, you've made the right decision. So, you know, we're, you're in a place now where life becomes more of an adventure. It becomes more of a game. We still have Mars and Capricorn, so we're still in this place <clears throat> where we need to be good leaders. We need to show our commitment. And with Pluto in the midheaven as well, we have to say we're insightful leaders. And that we have wise insights to share with others. Greetings, Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope. So with Venus in your eighth house, you know, it can be like the seven-year itch. But, you know, sometimes it's harder to get together with somebody in the wintertime. I don't know. Maybe not. But, um, you know, people are more enclosed. They're all enclosed in their clothes, and they're often, you know, 
hiding away, you know, because there's so much that they have to do to stay warm or keep out of sight. You know, the time the sign of Sagittarius often deals with fanaticism. So for Taurus, this is a time where you know you have to um, give in a little bit to the wishes of fanatics, and it's really easy for you to get in debt this time of year because. Um, Sagittarius rules your 8th house, and the 8th house is also, not only is it about sex, death, birth, other people's property, occult studies, but it's also sometimes about getting in debt and owing to other people. But other people can help you during this transit, and that's the good news. So allow other people to help you. Be open to that. Um, Address whatever your limits are in your love experience, and just get over it and be ready to do good work. Well, greetings, Gemini, and welcome to your horoscope. Well, this is good news. I mean, this week, as of late tonight, early tomorrow, sun goes into your seventh house of partnership, marriage, and um, romance, diplomacy, negotiation. So you're like the outside looking in. You're the elixir. You're the thing that people need right now because you're that opposite of Sagittarius. You're the Gemini. So we want to hear from you. We want to know what you have to offer more. And we want to take you to a place where things feel better in your life. So some more feel-good horoscope this week. And sure, if you have been lonely with Venus in your seventh house, you're much more likely to attract somebody. Now with Saturn still in the sixth house, you got to take care of your health issues. you got to take care of the limits in your life places where things weren't working as good. Mercury, well, Mercury's going to go into your seventh house this week. So when Mercury goes into your seventh house on Thursday, you'll be more of a sweet talker. You'll say the right thing at the right time. Um, Thinking about the Mars-Pluto thing over in your eighth house in Capricorn. So you're wanting it. You're wanting the love. And you just got to Relax and just open up to it, and and things will change all for the better. Well, hello, Cancer, and welcome to your horoscope. So, this week, the sun's moving. It's moving Saturday morning into Sagittarius. So, it goes out of that fifth house of creative expression into the sixth house, where you got to deal with work, working with others, having a service. And it's also a place where you make good karma. It's a place where you have to deal with health issues. It's a place where you're dealing with small pets, little details, getting organized, aunts and uncles. But charitable causes are big, especially around the Christmas season. And so I would imagine that you might be helping with some kind of charity project in your life. and that's of course a good thing and it's also another way of making good karma with yourself as we we look at you today Um, so you're in this place where you're helping others and and so there's a lot of burnout and sometimes when you're in this place of helping others that burnout can make you ill or exhausted plus you've had to really fight a lot in your relationship with Pluto and Mars transiting your seventh house Relationships have been something that you feel like you have to work on and put input in. Sometimes they're just great, but sometimes they're combative. So it's one of those, you know, the, you know, the couple that fights a lot but ends up in amorous situations all the time. One of those heavy passion relationships, you know, that could happen during this period. But also people that don't like you, Cancer, they're all open about it. They're like up in your face. And they're like, hey you did wrong, I don't like you, you know, that kind of thing, so that's okay, I mean, it's better to have people that are, you know, up and open about what they disapprove of, because you know where you stand. Now, financially, things are going relatively well, because Jupiter is in your second house, and so you have to speculate a little sometimes, but you have something, and so your wealth is improving. Your sense of who you are, your voice, situations with your family, they're getting better. So there's not that much that you really have to worry about. I'd say the most 
favorable day this week will probably not be until next Friday. Um, but, I mean, you can find some respite. You can find some harmony with um, the moon in Capricorn on Monday and in Tuesday where, you know, there, you'll get in the mood to negotiate. You get in the mood to relax. You get in the mood to love somebody. And speaking of love, hello there, lioness. Um, hello, Leo. Welcome to your horoscope. So, you know, Sagittarius time is a fortunate time for Leo because it rules the fifth house, so it makes you more Leo-like than ever. It's a time to roar. It's really a time to play. So with this new moon, I'd say the meditation, the new start, is how do I want to change things in my heart? How do I want to engage in a world to be more generous, to have more fun with my creative expression, to have more fun with my lover, to be a better teacher, a better father, a better leader. All of these things are what's going on. Now, you've got Jupiter in the first house. And, you know, it. eventually it will try a lot of the Sagittarius stuff. And with Saturn still in your fourth house, it's like you're building a foundation. I can't easily be shaken so that you can enjoy your children, enjoy your lovers, enjoy your friends, enjoy your playtime, because it's going to be good. And um, I would say go explore, have fun, travel, be, but most of all, be generous, laugh a lot, feel super full and happy this weekend. Greetings, Virgo, and welcome to your horoscope. They're like, Virgo, again? Uh, I don't believe this guy. It's like, yeah, that's good. That's good. I am complimented that you are engaging with me enough to know that you feel like this is nonsense. All right. So let, let me test you this week, though. So this new moon is about your family life. This is moon, new moon is about the house where you live. It's about your parents and what their influence was on you. So with this new moon, there is a special beginning emerging. You're, you're having a new beginning emerge out of your life. And this beginning is how you relate in a mature way and how you're going to be able to create a tribe for yourself, a tribe of people that feels good to be around, you know, and, that, and that's important, so you're exploring your comfort zones, you know, you enjoy this. Sagittarius will laugh at your sp sp critics, your critique. They think it's funny. They, they think your analysis is so limited because it's not necessarily broad view, it could be like a microcosm, so... In Sagittarius time, we have to open up our minds, look at history, look, be sensitive to the needs of our ancestors, and realize that not everything we look at is the only way we can look at it. And if we can just laugh at ourselves, not take ourselves so seriously, we'll find ourselves with a lot of friends, good times, and more comfort. Now, it, more powerful days for love for Virgo this week would definitely be Monday and Tuesday while the moon is in Capricorn because that's fifth house and that's when you'll be able to lasso your creative energy in and um, overall make things make things really good so um, I would do that uh, Mercury this Thursday uh, moving into your fourth house memories become strong your sense of history your sense of being consciously intelligent gets a little stronger and so, you know, you could be a voice for your tribe. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Well, greetings, Libra, and welcome to your horoscope. So, what I'll say about this week is we're beginning, we're entering into it with this new moon. This new moon is in your neighborhood. It's in the third house could be in your library but this is a house of courage this is a house of curiosity I really think it's like the curiosity that gives you the courage in the third house it's like hey I gotta know this 
I'm on this quest. I gotta move through this. So this is a time to relate more to your neighbors and friends. This is a good time to enjoy hobbies that involve working with your hands. This is a good time for you to contact your siblings, your cousins, people you went to grade school, high school, college with. All of these people mean more. Focus more on your communication. Focus more on your environment, what you see, how things change, how you appreciate the seasons, and come up with something that is intelligent as well. You'll have Mercury going into your third house this week, so and it's Mercury and Sagittarius, so you're going to have really good ability to communicate, and you can communicate in a creative way. You know, one thing about Sagittarius and its communication is it rules slang. It rules those funny words, those expressions. So I think we'll have more fun with slang this week, too. Well, hello, Scorpio, and uh, welcome to your horoscope. So if you're watching this on the 21st, this is your last day to claim Scorpio hood in uh, Western astrology. And... Um, we're getting out of that, though, because... Tomorrow we have a new moon. I believe the new moon is in the uh, the Vedic nakshatra of Anuradha, and uh, which is somewhat Saturn ruled. And so, some ways, I think we're going to have to deal with some of our difficulties. But it's also a moon about making friends and extending ourselves out and traveling to multiple places. So, I mean. This, this could be part of it. Basically, though, this new moon, because it's in your second house, Scorpio, it's about how you deal with money. And it's how you deal with your values. It's about how you deal with your, with your mouth, issues affecting your mouth, like if you need dental work, or maybe you've had a sore throat, or a scratchy neck, and so those things. It's also about putting on a face, making it so that you're recognizable to others and you feel good about yourself. This also can be about family and about friends of family, you know, the extended family that you have to deal with. So that's another thing to be conscious of and looking, but it's really where you put out your values. It's like, this is how I deal with my values. I mean, some people here, especially Westerners in the Western world, would rather not deal with family. And you know, and you can sometimes, sometimes it's important to extradite yourself from what's just an unpleasant situation all around. But we are responsible for the world we live in. And it's really important to make clear who you want to be and what you're intending to become. And then take the steps to become that person. Meet your goals. Meet, be consistent with your values. And, uh, charge on, you know, move forward with your life. You've got a lot of courage right now as well, and that courage is going to take you great places. Well, greetings, Sagittarius, and welcome to your horoscope, and happy birthday. I want to wish a happy birthday to uh, one of my friends over here in the Ishi Nation, El Shavato. El Shavato's turning 64. He knows who he is. The goat. The old goat. Um... And I want to wish over uh, Zephyr Meadow, who's turning 22 today. Happy birthday to you. And happy birthday to my friend Rudy Diaz in the uh, Los Angeles area. I believe he's turning 53 today. So, all right. Um, or, or tomorrow. And, um, yeah, happy birthday where, wherever you are. People having birthdays this week. I think Thanksgiving falls on Jimi Hendrix's birthday, famous Sagittarian. So, what do we got going with this new moon? Well, this is your time to be conscious. This is your time to step forward. And, and you know, the misery of Scorpio time is, you know, it's almost over. You know, you, you still have to deal with that Saturn in the 12th house. So, you still need to deal with some difficult karma. But it's going to get better this week, and you're going to get better ideas. On Thursday, when Mercury goes in your first house, it'll be like a light was turned on your head and say, Aha! So, even tomorrow, with the new moon in Sagittarius, everything's going to feel exciting. And it's like, in Scorpio time, we realize everything's dying, and it's getting darker and everything. 
and then in Sagittarius time we're like, well, so what? If we're going to die, we might as well die good with a smile on our face and uh, have a party about it. You know, that's that kind of feeling. So, and that is a good, you know, and a lot of times that's a good attitude. Sometimes you have to say, ah, oh, screw it. I'm going to have a good time anyhow. You know, and I think Sagittarius, you are the sign that's so good. You're also a sign that has a lot of comedians. A lot of funny people like Rodney Dangerfield, Flip Wilson, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, Richard Pryor, just to name a few. These people, Sagittarius funny people, you know, it, it just happens. You have to make a joke about where life is at and, you know, you're the flavor of the month now. And you're in that conscious place that what you set out now is going to set you forward through the whole of next year or so. Be ready to do good things. Be ready to do great things. Don't worry about where you stumble and fall. Know that you possess something that could be magic and will be valuable to others, if not yourself. Well, greetings Capricorn and welcome to your horoscope. All right, so with Mars and Pluto in your first house, you get a lot of insights. Now, we're going to have a moon in Capricorn on Monday and Tuesday. So, Monday and Tuesday are really powerful days for you. Days to be conscious of where you shine. This is also the beginning of your 12th house period. So, if I was a Capricorn and I had some karmic debts to pay, I would pretty much try and make sure I started paying them immediately and definitely before the next new moon. In fact, I was very suspicious of this, but yes, I mean, we have, um, the next new moon will be in Capricorn, and, um, and it's going to coincide with the winter solstice, so things that are going to happen this winter are going to be different in general for everyone. So right now, it's like, focus on your spiritual life, Capricorn. Focus on what kind of karmic debts you have to pay. Focus on the secret loves of your life. And where and why that karma brought you to where you are. And really, the best way to help others, you know, when you're going through, and yourself, when you're going through a 12th house transit, like you're about to go through the next four weeks, is to visit people in prison. Or visit people in hospitals or in rest homes. Folks that are isolated, that don't get out much. And they just need some love. They just need someone to give them some encouragement. You can be that person, Capricorn. You can be that person that really makes someone's day. One thing I do is really pay attention to your dreams. Because there's a lot of messages to you in dreams these days. Even with the new moon. Even this weekend. Even Friday night when you go to bed. You're going to wake up feeling different. And... You have a lot of strong feelings about things lately. You know, this has been going on for the last six weeks. And you've had to really draw some personal strength in yourself to make things happen, to move to that place where you want to go. That's good, you know. We, we want to make sure you're, you're doing well. Now, as we look into the future, you know, we're, we're going to see better things happen as you're able to initiate things but right now finish off what you started and uh, make good karma help others and you'll be helping yourself well hello Aquarius and welcome to your horoscope good to be with you so You know, last several weeks, Scorpio time, it was all about you, your talents, your skills, how you are the man and woman about town, the person that knows the the pulse of the public and show their great talents and skills, their leadership abilities. You know, this is really like the beginning of playtime for you. This is the beginning of you to be able to like chill out, party a little bit, hang out with your friends. This is stuff you really like to do anyhow. This is the 11th house, so you're extremely comfortable with Sagittarius, and you're allowing yourself to just maybe take your time and not be so busy, so that you can be blessed by your interactions with other people. Make it fun. You know, we are, 
you know, try to let go of your predisposed notions of people by how they look or even the bumper sticker on their car that's just so gosh awful oh if everybody thought like that you know that kind of thing um but we, we have to somehow be forgiving be more open-minded, be more loving. And what's beautiful about this period for you, Aquarius, is that this is your best time for preparing for the future and organizing friends. And if you wanted to throw a surprise party for somebody, you wanted to organize something for someone, this is your time to do it. Plus, Halloween, you're kind of like the star of the show. We've got a moon going into Aquarius Wednesday morning at 11.23 a.m. Basically stays there till Friday at 2.03 p.m. So really, you know, I mean, you're going to be like um, the number one grabber on Black Friday <laughs> if you if you participate in that. Um, and then Buy Nothing Day, I kind of, I like that too, because really, you know, I know that like in Vedic studies, we say that Venus loves it when you don't spend money on a Friday, okay? So I'm not saying hurt the economy, but it's like, may, or the, it also could be like a buy local day buy locally made things and stimulate your own local economy and people are happy you know you're helping your community and they and it makes everyone richer you know when everyone teams up together with their money see I think this is a problem I think it's like if we could focus on having community banks without having to have some big backer we could solve our loans and debt problem we can make something awesome and and keep building it keep building it within our own community there's possibilities happening all the time and you're that kind of person that initiates them well greetings Pisces and welcome to your horoscope so as we wrap things up here we'll talk about Sagittarius time in this new moon it's all about you and your career so maybe you're in a job that stresses you out and it's time you've got to switch you've, it's time that you have to try something different there's opportunities for you. They're coming up right now. Maybe there's a talent show, Christmas pageant, Hanukkah pageant, I don't know, Kwanzaa recital. Well, anyhow, you could be the star of the show and show us what your talents and skills are, what you do and what you do so well. Pisces is, Ju is Jupiter ruled just like Sagittarius. So you're somewhat in your element. It's about good fortune. It's about having faith. And these are things you do really well. And being playful. I mean, a lot of Pisces are funny. And they like to have a good time. And Sagittarius always fulfills a good time. It's sort of like the party animal of the Zodiac. So if you can make work time as it's harder and maybe building up more around you this season into more of a party, in a celebration, how much more you'll be an inspiration to others. How others are going to see your leadership during this period and be inspired by you. And uh, so you've got the love, you've got the ability to lift up people at work. Keep doing that. And we'll talk about this again next week when we uh, meet again and all join hands around the television for Planetary Persuader. <laughs>